uh, find an appropriate journal for your paper. Everyone is struggling to find journals after uh, writing the paper. So how can we find appropriate uh, journals uh, for uh, submission of our manuscript? Here we have uh, so many good publishers. We have to find uh, uh, good publishers uh, for submission of manuscript. There are a lot of uh, fake publishers uh, as well as fake journals. We will not get anything uh, while publishing these uh, fake journals in the long term perspective. So uh, we should focus on the good publishers as well. Uh, we know that the good publishers are uh, Elsevier, Springer, Wiley, IEEE, uh, Taylor and Francis. These are the main publishers. My, uh, uh, my task here is to how to find journals published by these publishers okay how to find good journals published by these publishers so i will show you how to find uh, journals uh, published by uh, these publishers so uh, first of all you have to uh, concentrate on your abstract that means abstract is very important to find journals Abstract and keywords are very important because uh, a search engine optimization is there that is being uh, uh, built by the journal so that the abstract and manuscript is uh, very important. So uh, abstract should answer what was done, why do why did you do it, what did you find, and why are these findings useful and important. So these questions are to be answered uh, in your uh, by your abstract so journals often set a maximum word count for abstract often 250 words it depends on journals uh, and abstract uh, should not contain uh, contain citations that is very important this is to ensure that the full abstract appears in indexing services so you should answer the questions right here what was done why did you do it? What did you find? Why are these findings useful and important? Then the next important point uh, before, uh, I mean, uh, fixing the journal, the keywords. So the keywords are the tool to help indexers and search engines to find relevant papers. Uh, if the database search engines can find your journal manuscript, readers will be able to find it too. Uh, this will answer the number of people reading your manuscript and likely lead more citations. So you are, with your keyword, because somebody search uh, your paper, your title in the Google Scholar or some other search engine, your paper will pop up. So it, it is coming uh, with the help of keywords. So the keywords are important. Uh, uh, while submitting manuscript because the key, some of the journals have their own keywords and our uh, the author's keywords should be uh, in accordance with the keywords of the journal otherwise the journal will not publish it so we should keep in mind the key while setting the keyword th that particular keyword is appropriate for the journal uh, in which we are sending the manuscript so how much we effective keywords must be chosen carefully they should represent the content of your manuscript and also the keyword should be uh, uh, in connection with your manuscript. We cannot set a keyword which is totally different from the manuscript. So be specific to your field or subfields. And if you are concentrating in a particular field and your keyword should be comes out of that field, uh, uh, that means the keyword should be in close with the manuscript and the keyword should be in close with the keywords of the journal. So all these things are very important. The importance of title. Title is a very important thing while sending the manuscript. The title of your manuscript is usually the first introduction uh, readers and reviewers have to work. Therefore, you must select a title that grabs attention, accurately describes the contents of your manuscript and makes people want to read further. So your title should be a catchy one and uh, it should uh, it should be interested by the reader to read. So an effective title should 
convey the main topics of the study convey the main topics of the study and highlight the importance of research be concise and attract the readers so uh, this is about the title uh, title should should convey the main topics of the study highlight the importance of the research and type should be concise as possible it is not important that uh, when you when you set a title which is very very lengthy that is, that that should be annoyed by the readers so be careful and uh, the journals will not uh, promote a, a lengthy title okay a, a very vag title and that should be concise and it should attract the readers as well and the background uh, uh, while writing the background make sure the citations are uh, well well balanced if the experiments have found conflicting results on a question having cited studies with both kinds of result and and uh, the the citation should be uh, i mean uh, less than 10 years would be fine if uh, some citations you have taken more than 10 years that should be appropriate to the content and the, your citations are to be relevant the studies you cite should be strongly related to your research question otherwise the citations are beyond or out of the purview of your study that is not good and the tip you do not write a literature review in your introduction introduction part we we are not supposed to write the literature review, but you can cite the uh, work the others find uh, useful to read it it is not like you know, reviewing or citing all the things in introduction which is not good so when you cite uh, papers in the introduction that should be uh, that should be part of the work and the others would be uh, i mean readers would be interested in it thank you